everyone welcome back to the channel so today i'll do a video about uh, super base environments i'm going to give you basically different options on how you can basically segregate your environments to have let's say a test a staging or a production environment and basically have a flow where you can go from the first one to the second one now i'm going to give you three options and after that i'm going to reference to you videos i made on each topic to how you can do this so First setup would be the local development, and that's really the one I I would really uh, recommend. So this is basically just running a local Superbase instance on your uh, device. Requirements are not really high, so simply use Docker and have at least 16 gigs of RAM. Um, and then the only caveat to that is you would need a uh, not to be using a tool like Lovewool or Bolt or stuff like that. Um, because you cannot connect from the browser to your local host. Um, so that's going to be the only like limitation if you're using local development. But if you're running also your web interface on your machine, this is the best way in my opinion, because it basically separates your, um, let's say, cloud version of Superbase. Uh, and then you got your local instance that you can basically push your changes. Once you know it's uh, good, you can push it to your production. Now, second one I would use is uh, basically have uh, two hosted uh, projects on the Superbase cloud. Could be more, so depending on how many branches of projects you want, um, that's a way I would do it. So you could basically have a project that is, let's say, uh, my project uh, slash staging and then my project slash production who are basically mirrors and again, you do the same thing. So each time you do changes to the first one and you're ready to migrate, you just basically push the changes to the second one. Now, if you want everything in the cloud and nothing to manage like VPS, stuff like that with local development, uh, I'd say that's the best option for you. Uh, but definitely you need to make sure that, you know, you've got um, the enough resources in the cloud of Superbase with the free plan to be able to do that. Uh, because they only allow two projects per account. Um, and also, if you have a lot of either storage, users, stuff like that, you might uh, reach the limits, which will trigger um, costs. So third thing that I think is really a good idea uh, that most of my clients use, so it would be to use uh, basically a staging uh, self-hosted version and then you could use a cloud database for the production one. So what I would do is let's say you're using a tool like Coolify that I've shown in the past how to use. You can basically host on a VPS your test or staging database. Um, so then if it goes down, it's less problems. Uh, you don't have, you know, it's not mission critical. But then for your production database, you could use a cloud one or basically just also on a VPS, but uh, a separate entity. So the self-hosting I think is interesting because it doesn't use your actual local device uh, resources and it allows you to externalize those resources that are used so you can have a full uh, access to your computer at all time. So I'm gonna talk about uh, what you can do to set it up. So I'm gonna show you some uh, links, some videos uh, in the cards there that you can use for each of one of those. So first things you want to do is when you do modification to a test database and you want to apply them on a production database, um, you're going to need to do migrations. Now I'm going to show you how you can do this uh, in this guide I'm going to put up here. It's about the Superbase local development. And in this video, I show basically how to do a migration and apply it to an upstream database. Now, if you want to do the local dev, it's also going to be the same video where I show how to um, use it on Docker, on your own computer, stuff like that. And then I'm going to plug another video for the self-hosted, uh, basically, way of um, how you can do it, um, which is a very good way, in my uh, opinion. But whatever you choose, you need to take on the criteria that I've talked to you about. So either go with the local development, first choice. Uh, second choice is uh, two project hosted projects or more if you need more environments. And then third is um, a mix between VPS and uh, cloud services. So basically have a test VPS and then a production um, on the Superbase uh, cloud services. So 
whatever you choose, uh, I think it's a great way to uh, separate environments and make sure your um, application de development is uh, efficient and secure. Uh, if you need any help uh, with that, make sure to uh, take a 20 minute free call with me um, in the description. I can help you uh, basically um, brainstorm about what you can do and what's best for you. I'll see you guys in the next one.